Hey guys, if you don't own this game but want to play, simply like this video and leave a comment down below. Winners will be picked and announced this weekend, so good luck. So today guys, we check out the non-exotic set up part of this game. I believe there's about 15 in total to get through, and we have a few for each character. So how's it going guys, my name's DPGN, if you enjoy your stay here, leaving a like really helps out. And if you never want to miss a video upload, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so exotics for the most part are one of the main end game goals or achievements to chase within this game. And today we look at some and what they offer. Now unfortunately right now it does seem that these exotics are not actually unique, which is a shame. And what I mean is, what these can offer in terms of perks can drop on other gear, like legendaries. Now whether there are hidden perks on these exotics that the gear stat cards don't state, I can't say, but as of right now it doesn't look that way. Ok so firstly let's get the usual suspects out of the way. In the two campaign reward major artifacts, these two you will receive via completing the solo campaign. And well, I don't really think we have to look too hard into these as you've probably already seen them. But we have the Sacred Known Stone of Lethal and the Tactigan. Ok so moving on to another major artifact, this one is called the Darkhold and this is a reward for completing the reigning supreme mission chain, this one you can see on screen now. Now this artifact actually looks pretty good, with the perks of Axiom of Brutality where pressing in both thumbsticks will drain heroic energy but give you health back and this could come in handy for sure. The next perk on this allows you to press both thumbsticks when over 50% willpower to drain willpower to critical levels and charge all heroics. And its third perk is great too, press both thumbsticks at full willpower and with full heroic meter to drain both sources to 50% and create a damage explosion. Now that's a lot of thumbstick pressing people, but yes I'm actually close to getting this exotic myself and I cannot wait. The next major exotic artifact we have is called the Ring of the Nibelung. This artifact I do believe is a first time completion reward from the Elite Heroic Hive mission chain. Complete all steps and you get this artifact. Now we can see the perks on this we have Bountiful, increases amount restored by orbs by 11.6% which is actually guys pretty decent. The next unlockable perk we have is 1.2% chance that defeating enemies will produce a random orb of any type. And this thing's third perk is pressing both thumbsticks to generate a random bounty of regen packs, heroic orbs or intrinsic orbs, again actually a very useful item. So let's move on and on to the exotic gear pieces for the Avengers. Now like I said earlier on in the video, it does seem these exotic gear pieces right now actually are not unique to themselves. And what I mean by this is, legendary gear pieces can offer the exact same as these exotics, which to me is a little bit bizarre. Now whether this is a bug or a glitch I ain't sure, but as of right now it does seem to be the case. Now going through these exotics for this reason alone, I think it's pretty pointless, I read through all the gear stats and the perks because like I said, they ain't unique to these exotics. Because as you can see on screen now with this black window exotic called the Red Room Court. Next to it is a legendary with the exact same benefits perk wise. And to be honest in fact only being one power higher it's actually a much better item. Now the only thing I believe is unique to individual exotic pieces is the third stat. The other two I believe can be random, but in saying that although they seem to be guaranteed on said exotics, the same perks can drop on legendaries too. So with this one right here, Spectre's Cloak, increased duration of invisibility by 3 seconds. And this other one for Black Widow, it has Extended Evade, increases the distance covered during an evade by 30%, so that's actually pretty decent. Next up we have Captain America, and firstly, the Conduit of the Super Soldier. Third perk here, 43.4% chance to taunt an enemy after a successful ranged power attack, pretty cool. Next up for Captain America we have the Harbingers of the Nomad, with its taunting finisher. 70.4% when an enemy is hit by a light combo to become taunted, well that's actually real good. And then lastly for Captain America we have Rampant of the Nomad, with its Eagle Cry increases duration of rally cry by 3 seconds. Ok so next up we have the big guy, the Hulk, with the world breakers infusion. 
This has green frenzy, increases the amount of overcharged energy gained from each attack by 15%. Like wow. And again for Hulk we have the World Breakers Neuronics. And its third perk increases charge rate of heroic assault ability by 18%, which actually could be quite brutal. Okay, so moving on and next up we have Iron Man with his superior Mark 15 Doom Fists. Wow, what a cool name. It has Armory Amplifier, 30% increased status damage for all weapons. Wow, I need this in my life, people. Next up we have Miss Marvel with her Marvelous Regalia. And its heroic assistance increases charge rate of heroic support ability by 18% people. That's pretty good. And lastly guys we have four. And first for him we have the arm guards of the thunderer. This increases all status damage dealt by 25%. We then have the binding of the thunderer. Increases the amount of enemies that can be triggered by Molnir by 2 seconds. I can never pronounce that hammer's name. This requires the manual targeting skill. Next up, chest play of the Thunderer. This increases the amount of overcharge energy gained from all attacks by 50%. And lastly guys, for 4, we have the Girdle of the Thunderer. Funnily enough, this does the exact same thing as the previous exotic. And well people, there we have it. The exotics we know of so far and what they offer. Now if you need to know where these can be farmed, I've already made a video on which you can find linked within the video description. I go into full details and basically guide you through how you actually unlock exotics to farm. But yeah guys, those are the exotics we know of so far. Pretty cool, I do guess. Shame they ain't unique in any particular way as we know of right now. I will probably would think we may see a few changes in the future but we will see guys but i know we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more avengers be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one